Hello everyone, welcome to Sunburned Albino Plays Croc 2, episode 1. Uh, the stuff's, the sound effects in particular are a little loud to start with, but there's no, I probably have to like start the game first to actually get to the options menu, if there is one. Is this back before options menus were a thing? Um, how do you even, I guess you just go, alb? I guess that's kind of what you're doing. All right, my triangle button is starting to stick a little on this PS2 controller that is not one of the original ones. Hey, do you have a problem with pressing X? There you go. I did it like three times. It looks like the gobos have bras on their head, but it's just goggles. Yeah, that's, those are bras, just so you know. Just wanted to tell you. Alright. The deal between, like, Croc 2 and the uh, Croc 1 is the Croc 2 levels are a lot more open. They're more mission-oriented rather than just, like, get to the end. And... Also, we have to go find our missing parents. This is apparently a letter from them, perhaps. Maybe searching for their lost son. I've never beaten Croc 2, just like I never beat Croc 1. But we'll see how things shake out. Yeah, that doesn't seem likely to me, but that's alright. <laughs> it's Croc 2. So we have a hub world now. And we also have like a shop where you buy things. There's currency and stuff. And it's also kind of like ukulele with like the, the sound effects. I am Croc, friend of Gobos. Ah, that explains it. Gobo thinks anyway Croc might find this useful. Swap me Pete loyalty card. You know when Croc find crystals, they are added to your card. Then Croc can spend them in Swap Meat Pete's store. So now the crystals. Yeah, that's great. I don't want to talk to you. Okay, yeah. Uh, the controls are different in this game, like a lot, kind of. Croc find magic eye zoomers. Alright, triangle is how you use your inventory items, which is a thing. You have inventory items now. But yeah, you can, like, you can turn a lot better. And also, I'm not moving up. I'm just pressing the right directional button right now, where that would usually, like, turn you in the first game, right? I'm actually running now. Yeah, like, it goes like that. And then it'll turn you if you go to the down, like, whichever direction you're going. It's a bit jarring, actually, to begin with. Yeah, that's great. I don't need... I'm not trying to talk to you about it. Oh, but you know what's... Oh my god. Yeah, this is weird. <laughs> it's so hard to run around. Hello? Help! What's wrong? Gobos go walk in jungle. Dantini come kidnap friend and lock him up in cage. Gobo scared. Friend need help? Croc will help him. I will help him. I'll find your friend, sir. Find the key, save the gobo. Will do. You know, part of this seems like a good change, and then some of it is like, oh no. <laughs> You know, like, first, first of all, you travel a lot faster. Second of all, the Dantinis are way bigger for some reason. I don't know what the deal with that is. The crystals have become... Hold up. There are Dantinis, lock, cage, and hide, key, and cave. Okay, crack up, gobble. They still respawn just as fast. 
Thankfully, am I right? The crystals have become... They're not like your health anymore. Uh, you just, they're just, you know, they're collectibles and they're currency. So you do some of that. And then everybody's eyes linger after you kill them. For some reason. Yeah, that's something that happens. The, the controls are kind of bonkers. Like, this is not cool. On one hand, it's cool that it's faster. You know, just like running and stuff. On the other hand... Like, you can't just turn anymore. It'll r run you in the direction that you're trying to go. And, you know what? That's not okay with me. I just gotta say it. It's cool that, like, they could just let me finish the game right now. Finish the level. After we've done nothing so far. Ah. Okay, you know, we probably should go back into that cave. I thought that might have been... Dude, this is not okay! <laughs> yeah, two of three hearts, so that's our health now. You know, we move a little faster, we turn a bit more fluidly while running, and that's nice. But there still needs to be, like, that precision aiming that there is not at all. Also, there is no moving backwards. You can't just walk backwards. If I press down right now, it just turns. This is me pressing down. And that's really stupid, if you ask me. Oh, that's good. Needed that health. So yeah, you know, like, I, I talk to people where, like, oh, you know, Croc 2 is, like, worse than Croc 1. And, and like... From what I remembered, because I'd forgotten about the controls, I was like, well, no, but, like, because, you know, it, it gives you more stuff to do. It's kind of cool how it's mission-oriented and, like, there's a hub world and, like, currency and everything. But just this running is unacceptable. I mean, it's cool now if you're trying to, like, just run. But if you're trying to make precision jumps, to get, you know, you got to get out of here where it's not going to happen. <laughs> You know, I feel like they could have kept the fast pace and the even the running controls. But just made it so that you could turn on a dime would have been nice. Now there are chase sequences, obviously. And that's when you'll like thank the new system. But other than that. Are these just checkpoints? Yes, they are. They are not the end of the level. So, that well, that one's on me, folks. Oh, you know what? A few things, actually. First of all, turn that down. Turn that down. Turn that down. But turn that way down. Turn that down. That's good. And then, what is Omniplay? The hell's that? Oh, so if you had like, you can, oh. You could have two people like sort of control croc, like, oh, I'll move and you jump, okay? Yeah, that sounds great. No one's ever done that well before at all. Um, center screen. Ooh, I can move it, like, over here. I don't want to do that. Let's see what, like, wherever it was at before, which I've lost. Yeah, just reset it. There you go. I wouldn't have figured it out. Okay. Let's go, then. I was looking for, like, a passive active camera thing, but it seems like that straight up doesn't exist. Cause look at- I can't look in this direction! It won't do it. L2... no, okay. R2, L1... nope, that's still that. 
And I can't even look through my binoculars here. I could have missed something and I would have no, not even a slight clue. What is this? I don't know what that is. I think you need some kind of power up for that. But yeah, I highly doubt that we'll do everything in this level, just because I don't think it's possible yet. Go! Damn it! And maybe you're looking at it and you're like, oh, you know, you're probably just like, I don't know what's wrong with you, but you're doing it weird, it's not the game. No, it's the game! It's 100% the game! Oh, also you can do like a little, like a triple jump. Kind of. If you time it properly. Yeah, I didn't. This is one of these things where like you have to buy a thing and then you put it here and then you can get up there. Which is kind of annoying. I can't. Nope. Nope, you won't get me with that. No, sir. I needed those gems. I need all the currency I can possibly carry. Oh, that's nice. What a lovely time to be alive. And then this puts me right back here. It's cool, it's like a little Skyrim dungeon. Somehow the end of the cave is right next to the entrance, even though it wasn't that way before. And thank you! Use the door crock came through to return to village! I'm gonna give them Russian accents. Based on the text, it seems like that's how they talk. Just like, high, garbled... Russian accents. Oh, hello! Do you... I don't know, what is, what is that? I'm not sure. Hello, Croc, how are you doing? Hello, Croc, how are you doing? It's like, if you, if you have to do the voice higher, you have to, it's harder to just nail it. The accent, that is. It's like the voice and the dialect are one when you do it. Are we going uh, backwards, and by backwards I mean forwards? I think we are. No, we're not. Are we? I can't tell. This looks the same forwards and backwards. Okay. Oh yeah, that was great. That was a good jump. What kind of spikes are these? They're like shiny. Oh yeah, we are. Okay, yeah. Now go back again. Yeah, like you can turn while you're running a lot better and it's very active and good. You're like, cool. But, yeah, the rest. All the stuff I've said like six times already. There you go, we gotta time it. I don't know if Croc 2 has the same, like, platform grabbing problem. I just said platform, in case you missed it. You know those platforms? They start with P and end with N. They're like platforms, except uh, nope. There's there's nothing. There's no difference at all. All right, I rescued your friend, so you're gonna give me something nice, aren't you? You better. I don't do this shit for free. Thank you, Crook. No problem. Oh yeah, great. Yeah, that's what that's what we do. Don't say no problem. We almost died out there. We got down to one HP. A couple times, in fact. Hello. Don't think it's not very nice, but not their fault. 
Oh, it's not their fault, huh? Yo, I have 90 crystals. What can I buy with it? This reminds me of, like, Cuphead's, uh, store. I am Swap Meat Peter. I know the mysteries of these lands, and I get quality goods wholesale for anyone with the appropriate crystals. Square buy. Yes, I take it. What? No! It it was aiming at a thing, and I bought it by accident. God. This, my friend, is our top of the line clockwork gobo, only 50 crystals! This is the crystal ball, I can use it to send you to faraway places. Damn it, I bought the green one, didn't I? I even, I need the blue one for that other one. This gives me an extra heart container, but I definitely didn't have enough money for that. I assume I want to buy that for some reason. You know, they don't just have novelty items in the store. You gotta give it to somebody. Man. Oh, our health is consistent, too. Or persistent, as the case may be. I can jump higher than you. Bat. Croc. Can't. Jump. Higher. Then. Go bow. Oh, I bet I can. I did it. Crack, jump, higher, then gobo. Gobo give clock fries. Ooh, you gave me like a bunch of those. I need to buy that clockwork thing now. Obviously, I got my eyes on that heart container, but. You know, this might be mission-oriented. Hello, yes, I want to give this shit. Or I want to buy this. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, great. Yes, I take it! Alright. I don't know what it's for. But it better be for nothing. Or it better, it better not be for nothing. We'll see. I don't know, somebody will want it. Oh, Gobo in trouble, Gobo in big trouble. Why Gobo in trouble? Gobo thought to protect treasure, Gobo fall asleep, don't think he's gonna take treasure, hide five boxes and scream mine. Gobo in big trouble now. Crack out Gobo, crack find treasure, Gobo not be in trouble. Damn straight. I am the savior of Gobo kind. I've done so much for them, I rescued literally every single one of them. In the first game, remember? Remember the first game? Alright. Alright, there's a bunch of different ways we could go here. Five different treasure boxes. Ah! How do you expect to see that? You can't react to this, this thing's going way too fast. You go back immediately. Ah, it's going too fast? I got that one, though. I'm not sure what the colored gems are about in this game. Like, you assume that there's another colored door? But it's like, what would be in it, you know? Not a gobo. Maybe some kind of inventory item that you otherwise have to pay for. Which does make it a value proposition. Are you serious? I have zero of three hearts, but I am somehow still alive. That's interesting. It's interesting to me. Dude, the platforming... Oh, bad. Oh, man. It's just different. It'll take time to get used to. It's a wild and crazy guy! Yeah, I'm aware. I would like to jump out of this conversation, please. Thanks. I pressed... One of the buttons I pressed did it. I think it was square. 
I like the idea that it's square, because then it's just like I tail whip my way out of that conversation. Like, bitch, I got things to do. Do we need to get... Oh no, this is a different path. But we, yes, we do in fact need to get the gold gems again. Ah, oh, why couldn't it be persistent? Eh. Eh. You can fall down onto those grates. There's even a life there. But we're at full life. So I don't want to do that. Not yet. Uh, what? Bad. It's such a... Alright. It's all fine. Let me just... Nope! Dying makes you lose a heart. Interesting. Oh yeah, missed those two. You don't have time. I can't react. I have bad reaction time just in general. But this is, like, taking it and making it become a real problem. Okay, get ready, because here I come. There you go. Alright, we got the balloon over there. I need to get my heart back. There's also like a vibrate, you get a controller vibration as you're running. Like, the footsteps make the controller vibrate, which is kind of disconcerting a little. It's kind of weird. Like, it's fine. It's kind of cool. But, you know, I've never been a rumble guy regardless. I turn vibration off when I remember. I don't feel like it immerses me anymore into the game, it's just like... All right, my hands are uncomfortable now. So we got the blue gem. Oh yeah, that, oh, okay, th yeah, this one is good. So it's the right. It was supposed, I thought. I mean, I know I gotta go back and get it, and I'm gonna. I wanna get all the gems and see how it, what it's like, even though we probably can't gummy inventory. Here it comes. Got it. Yeah. The odds were good that I'd get it. Get it. Alright. There you go. Alright, make it. Come on, let's go. Let's do this correctly. Which means don't miss the boxes. I would say that's a pretty good ledge grab, so maybe Croc is better at them. That was interesting. Okay. That's all fine. There's chest number two. Not a clue where I should be leaning. Okay. Okay. You know what? I don't need those. I don't... Uh, no. It's not a big deal at all. No problemo to me. So I guess you use the down button... to turn, but it's like, it only turns in the direction you're already kind of facing. Which I guess you would like, tap L left and then down in order to turn like this, and then keep going like that. And then you would tap it to the right and then go down to do it like that. 
with that in mind, it's a little better. But that just assumes that I'll ever get used to that, so. Oh boy. here because this is new whoa there I think whoa okay tilt down and that's fine yeah okay good ledge grab though I'll commend you on that I don't have a damn clue where I'm going. Why why am I jumping over them? When they're obvious God, see? Okay, but that's like right there. I got this. And then back again. Back at it. I'm so good at surfboarding the mine shaft. Look at me go, pro as hell. Yeah, just like that. Uh. All right, that put me back at the beginning. That was that one. Now that one's gone. So now, if there's one on the right side, that is where we go. There it is. Two more colored gems. Awful. <laughs> Just the worst. There you go. All right. What's that? Oh, hello. Quick croc jump on over and go go reach treasure chest. I am not that heavy. <laughs> that I can send you flying like that. I ain't even butt stomp, man. You gotta put some pounds on. But it's cool, the gobos are helping out instead of just being damsels in distress, you know? Are right, you just gonna hang out back there now forever? I think story-wise, the sequel has strong points. Dicks. Okay, well none of those were colored, so... Doesn't matter. Uh. Uh. Oh, okay. I thought I couldn't reach that. We got four. See, we needed a blue one. Why did they give me? Why did I give myself green specifically? What happens, what's going on up there? It better not be the other color gem. It'd be ridiculous if I did all this, only to find out that it was impossible. Also, we're back at the beginning now. What is left to do here? We've been everywhere. The only place we haven't been is the place where you need a blue thing to get in there. You can't tell me that the last treasure chest is gated by this. Because they would have said something. They had to say something. That's an impossible thing. I don't know why I'm coming back here. I know what's back here. But it's like, do this or just stand there pontificating, you know? 
Like, is there anything else over here? No. It cre you, you see how this creates problems, right? I assume you do. Everybody does. Huh. Do we just leave then? Because there is nowhere else to go. We have the four chests. The four chests. There's five. We don't have the fifth one. If I go to the left again, I'm gonna go. I'll go to the left here. I guess there was like maybe one area we didn't go that was around this way. We jump off the the elevator thing onto the path, and then I only went one direction. Maybe there were two directions to go. What if I keep going this way? No, that's... yeah, okay. But then, on the other side of this... Oh wait, this is the other side. See, the chest is already right there. But then we go around. And ah, uh, great, great job, fantastic jumping, pretty solid. Let's see, like this way is a cart, and it's there. But then if I go over here, nothing. Okay then. Did it. Got another one. You thought I'd gotten them all. Or all the ones that I was gonna get. I'm here to surprise you on a daily basis. There's that chest. Then we went all through this place. And I'm gonna die here, I just want you to know. We have no health. And these crates are very, like, non-proportioned. They're very different. And platforming is still weird. <laughs> I just wanna break the rules. I don't wanna go to school. I'm Charlie XCX. I sing about the dumbest shit a maze possible. I don't wanna go to school, I just wanna break the rules. Hey, appeal to the worst people in the country, yeah. Why don't you go sing about some boom clap? Keep boom clapping. Not to mention her voice is disgusting. Uh, what do we have here? Mm, gobo and croc play game. Gobo say and croc dude, ready? I jump. Croc tail attack. Ha! Croc stomp. Like this. Croc knocked heart pot off tree. Find heart and it will go in pot. Make croc strong. Nice. Otherwise, I had to pay 250 crystals for that. Oh, I do like this. I do enjoy this. I remember it. Croc got favor to us. Okay, I can croc help. Dantini's having boat race. Want Gobos to race, but Gobos always lose. Croc not lose though. Jump in boat to start. I will win the race. It's like Croc Kart. Like Mario Kart. And you want to get all five colored gems. I don't know why, but you want to. 
don't remember why that is. Ah, fish. That's okay. Want that yellow one? It's pretty easy to win this race if you just take the shortcut each time. Which is right there. I didn't do it because there's a color gem here. Man. Yeah, this is about it. You know, it's as basic as racing gets. But it's still, you know, it's kind of relaxing. Like, first of all, you're in a boat. You don't see that very often. In, like, a cartoon thing. Second of all... I don't know, it's just, like... Relaxing. I said it before, I'll say it again! I like it. Most of you are snoring by now, but, uh... Apologize for that. Actually, I don't, because this is fun. <laughs> it's just, it's just a good time. We got a gold trophy. Oh, that must have been for getting all the color gems. And then, oh yeah, there was a door that we just passed that had that like symbol on it. I wonder if that's like a treasure room or maybe a boss thing. There's however many hub worlds, right? So like, you know, you do- okay, this dude's catching up and that's not acceptable to me at all. Oh well, you didn't see me going here. Waterfalls usually mean dead ends. Yeah, right, so there's like the hub world, so you do like the different levels, and then there's the boss, and then you move on to the next hub world. I think I've only been to the second one. Thank you, Croc! No problem! So yeah, I want to go in here now. Excuse me. I have a gold trophy. I don't know what it's for, but I have it. Oh, you only get the the vibration when uh, you're running on wood. Is there something going on here? Is this bad water? No, it's fine. And yeah, you can swim like on the surface now, which is kind of cool. And you don't even really lose... Well, you kind of lose speed. But it's not, like, terrible like the first game. I want your springy shoes. Not fair, not fair. What's not fair? Big crow like sandwiches. Fly down and steal Kobo's lunch. Then fly into jungle. Now Kobo hungry. If Croc get lunch back, Kobo share with Croc? Kobo share and Kobo help Croc too. Look, Kobo got spring boots. Croc can throw Kobo to places Croc not reach. Yeah, jump in my backpack, Gobo. Let's get it. I really need health. Badly. Oh, no, I don't. I guess it replenished after the race? Yeah, get out of here. Alright, I can throw springy Gobo. Also, crawling on these is a little better, you can you can see, which is nice, this is good. There's some weird stuff where it's like trying to put me up on top of it, but not doing a good job. I don't know why they're so big now. Like, also, is there a yellow gem up there? There you go. Okay, so you just have to mash it then? I thought it was a timing-based thing. But I guess not. But yeah, it's a new mechanic in this game, too. Alright, we have a cave there. Ah, oh, we got caves everywhere. I don't know where to go.
I think the first time I played this level, I stared at this wall and didn't know you could climb it, and I just turned around and walked back out. Cluck! Throw Gobo! I will. Okay, it's, uh, yeah. Isn't that cool? I, I, I do like that. What is this for? Oh, you can't use it. Yet. Oh, you can't just jump around. Fine. I just like to have the binoculars on standby. So I don't accidentally press triangle and use something that's... a consumable, you know what I'm saying? Of course you do. I'm speaking clearly and succinctly. If you didn't, I'd wonder how you got so far into this video. Alright then. Come on now. Damn straight. And then if I didn't know that wall was climbable, I don't know what I did here. Well, I just turned around and walked away and just exited the level like, this level's impossible, why would they make an impossible level? Here's a checkpoint that I desperately need. Well, I don't, wouldn't say I desperately need it, but you know what I mean. Oh, I'm encountering mild brightness issues and that I can barely see the trackway here. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say I'm supposed to get up here. Yes! Is there an elevator here? I was, yeah, I was gonna say, like, there... I saw that there before. Making sure there's nothing up here. Don't you leave without me. Oh, I was supposed to stay on the underside of it. I am supposed to this whole time, actually. Well, that's on me, isn't it? Also, I think that, is, that was the yellow gem. Maybe if I go like this. Hell yeah. Oh, is that a heart right over there? It is. Oh, well, we have max health. Figures. You know, I know you guys are like, you can't really afford to leave these crystals behind. And you're right. But also, I just did, so I don't know what to say about it. Other than there'll be plenty of more crystals where they come from. Or something. Go away. I kind of don't like that they're bigger. It makes them look more imposing. Although it makes more sense... Nah. It already made sense why the Gobos couldn't beat the smaller ones. Because the smaller ones were still bigger than the Gobos. And it's like, what, they got, like, Gobo sword fighters? I don't think they do. They are not a race built for combat. Perhaps. Uh, I guess that's not possible. Oh well, we'll probably come out on top in this one. I don't know when I'm gonna end this. What the hell was that? What? What? Nothing was in there. It was a fake box? Oh boy. Yeah, that's the problem I have. You can't... It's... Yeah. Well, I'm, you could you put me back here? Son of a bitch. Joke's on you, I don't even need these. Oh well, this lets me get the crystals I missed, I guess. 
Cause like, even though I know about how you turn, you still kind of can't do it under duress. You know, like jump on those boxes and then do a quick turn. That's not happening. I don't know how the devs play test of this game was like, yeah, that's working as intended. Let's see. Kind of can. And I could use that hard, but it would take too long. <laughs> Laziness is more important to me than sturdiness. Alright, get out of here. I gotta find another another gong pretty quick. I mean, how would they not put one right before that jump thing? Oh, uh, hold up, hold the phone. Did you just grab this? No, you didn't. It really looked like you did, though. Well, fine. Oh, this is... Platforms. I get it. So that made them appear. All right, here we go. I guess you have more time than I'm trying to make it take. I don't know, I'm just impatient. I don't really like standing on breaking platforms. Nice. I don't know, maybe that's your fetish, in which case I'm not trying to kink shame you. But it's not for me. Okay. Springy go bowl! It, it, it brings me joy to do that every time. <laughs> Like it does. Alright, well, the bottom version has all the crystals. There's boxes up here, though. Rest assured, I will get them. We might be able to get everything in this level. I haven't seen a gumdrop thing. Hopefully, if I do, it's the green one. Color gem? No, just a regular one. Alright then. And nothing over there that's gettable anyway. Okay. That must have raised some platforms over here. Yeah, only 16 more gems? I know they're called crystals, but they're shaped like the gems from Crash Bandicoot, so... That's- Oh, there is a green one! Now is our chance to make use of this accidental purchase. Whoa! Okay, well that didn't quite work. Let's try this again. There you go. It's a heart, and more crystals. <sighs> that is not worth it. That thing costed 50. Oh, but it also gets me up on this red gem, I think. Oh, that was a good jump. And it was too good, in fact. I missed the target completely. No, I think we send the gobo over there to get that. Oh, yeah, oh, okay. <laughs> Just fall after you get to the top. I will get you in a second, alright? Is 
that all five? No, that's just four. That's very upsetting. Because this is the end. Hell yeah. Got your sandwich. Take that heart, even though I can't. Where was the other color gem, then? As well as the last 13 or so crystals. Well, darn, that's frustrating. Want to share sandwich? Pickled onion jelly. Get out of here with that. There's still two more dudes who need help over here. Do we go by the, uh... The... Something? Still question if maybe the last chest is only accessible with a blue donut. In which case, I should probably buy it. Alright. Give me it. And give me it. Yes, I, I know. Yeah, I know what it is. Thanks. I take it. And you know what? I'm gonna take one of these as well. Eighty for this one. No thanks, too much. We have fifty, so that's how much is this one? Simple jumps, a mere forty. Okay, I will take the another one of these as well. Okay, time to go. I mean, I guess you're just supposed to, like, stock up prematurely, and then... You know, it's like Darkest Dungeon. You don't know if you're gonna need a... A skeleton key, or a anti-venom, or whatever. You have to prepare beforehand. Even though I still don't like that. Now, my question is... Nope, it says 0 out of 100, so I assume that we have to find every chest again. That's cool. I appreciate it. So how are you guys, uh, day going? Pretty good? I'm just hanging out, recollecting gems. Although, when you think about it, like, you can just replay these levels and get pretty much infinite amounts of gems. If you need something from the store that badly, it's fine, you know? This is such a random place for one of these things. Out of the way. Alright, I need the camera to- there you go. I don't know how long I'm doing this episode for. We're at like 50 minutes already. It's because I'm like kind of debating whether or not I want to continue to play this game. So it's like, well, if I'm not gonna, then a long episode is preferable. So we can experience as much in the first episode as possible, since there will be no future ones. But then if I am going to keep playing it, it's like, not all of them are going to be this length. I don't know. I don't know the answer. After we finish this level, I'll probably end it. And then there's like two more levels after that, and then there's the boss. I didn't get that green gem, but it kind of doesn't matter, because like, color gems are impossible to get. All of. In levels, apparently. No matter how I try. So that's fine with me, man. We'll just let it go.
perhaps the colored gems, getting all of them always gives you that little trophy thing. And then if you get all of the little trophy things, then it opens the treasure room. Or the, you know, the room with the door with the emblazoned upon it. It's possible. I still wonder what's in there. Could it be heart containers? Could it just be random a random assortment of goodies? Could it be something so special we don't even know what it is yet? The excitement is tingling, even though we'll never find out. Nah, not a chance. No, we won't. It's okay, because we're in this level, and it's okay that we're in this level, because I have blue gumdrops this time. Blue donut. Donut things. And also, I'm super good at long-distance blind platforming. Just simply blowing the doors off right now. Why does this game make me want to play Sly Cooper? Something about... I don't know. I'm just, I'm thinking about Sly Cooper right now. And it's like, well, should I play Sly Cooper? I wouldn't mind playing Sly Cooper. Oh, yeah, there, 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 there goes the red one. You know, I have the, the Sly 3 series that I did like seven episodes of. And then I quit about halfway through the Outback the second, like, hub world. Because I I kind of burned myself out on YouTube by that point. This this was, like, way earlier in my career. You know, I'd just gone off the heels of... I was doing Sly, Ratchet and & Clank, and Jack and & Daxter all at the same time, and I was like, I'm probably going to drop one of these. Because I just can't do it all. I don't have... I ha Well, I have enough time in the day, but I don't have the drive. But yeah, if I started playing like Sly 1, and I have Thieves in Time too, which, you know, when uh, other developers take over for the original developers, it's usually uh, a risky prospect. I think Thieves in Time was okay, it was fine. I'm not sure there was anything glaringly wrong with it. I played all of it. It was, it was cool, it was alright. It was cool that you actually met your ancestors. Like, that's a great idea. You know, you heard stories about him in the previous games. You just kind of read about him. Like, oh, I wonder what these guys were like in real life. Wonder no more. Yo, this is 100%. That area right there is what I missed before. And this was on me, I think. Yeah, okay. And I'm not just talking about this either, I'm talking about before this. First of all, wow to the fact that the yellow gem is here, which means I have to go back and get the other two. Second of all, over here is where the other chest is. And this was perfectly accessible from the get-go. So you can imagine how frustrated I am with myself. What? What's your... What was... What? What did you do? What happened? Okay, well, they sent me back here. Which is kind of a blessing of disguise, because it means I can get these color gems. It's like up in the air, right? Jump up and... Oh, no. This is the one that I got. Oh, missed all those. Hey, I'm just a middle-aged woman trying her best, okay? I don't need your judgment. I have a hard enough time as it is. What with my menstruation cycle and... getting wrinkles in places I don't want them. It's a hard life for a woman, okay? There you go. 
That's green. Let's see, we're missing purple. Or yellow, is it? No, we got yellow. And then this is this whole area, which I ain't doing it, because we did it before. So we go the other way. On the other side. You see my reaction time on point there? <laughs> Super good. At this point, I feel like I should have just streamed this game. We're an hour in. Alright. Yeah, get out. Where's that last gem? I know I've seen every gem already. I think. I'm pretty sure. Oh! That was dickish. So I spun him and landed on it at the same time. Not supposed to allow me to do that. Alright, I think it's here. No, that was just a regular one. Well then, you caught me. Maybe it was after here. Maybe it's here. And it's like right at the beginning? I don't know, that's literally, that's nothing. There's nothing there. Let's go back then. Am I about to thwart myself yet again? And it's my own damn fault this time? Perhaps? Yeah, what I did was I landed in that tiny little square area before that should not even have a missing, like, hitbox or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, that's the ticket. Where to now? Oh, you want me to keep going up here? Oh, you do! Isn't this diabolical? Alright, yep, there it is. That's number five. Okay, don't push yourself off, please. What did I just say? You almost did it. You almost, you've almost done it so many times in a row. Oh, good. I guess we're leaving, because I don't know where that other gem is. Oh, it doesn't take that long. Just go through the mine shafts again. I know you're right. I know it, and that wasn't it. Fine, send me back down the other side. And I'll do it. I'll do it for you guys, because it would probably just piss you off to no end if I basically deliberately screwed myself out of this. My audience does not tolerate small mistakes. If I've learned anything, it's that. <laughs> it's like when Northern Lion plays Slay the Spire. The comment section is filled. Filled to the brim. With, oh my god, the misplay at 1433. I can't even. You made me buy this game because you're so bad and I want to play it better. It's like, ooh, marketing tactics strong. Like, well done. Alright, it's for sure here. It has to be. Around this portion. And you know, I get the misplay comments on my videos too, just not as many, because I'm not as popular. <laughs> and also because I'm just like, way better at the game, meh. Alright, I don't know where it is, but the colored gems are usually, like, you get a jump for them. Out there or not there? Was this... this? No, we're done. No, that was a waste of time. I apologize for the inconvenience. No, I don't. I'm not sorry.
this place is a shithole country. And I want very few immigrants from here. As such, I'll be leaving immediately. Don't want to be tainted. Oh! Dude, did you see that, though? Like, I jumped off the lava, and it was fine. By the way, we're leaving. It was nice that they spawned us right here. Hello. Thank you, Croc. No problem. Hell yeah. Just balling out of control right now. Do we? Can we save? Quit and save. Okay. That's good. I think I will play more. It will not be this long. But that's gonna do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you can like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you.